Let's see how we can style angular components in this tutorial. If you look at a mockup, the company component has a background with different color. This color depends on the data. When we add new company with name and description, a background color for the company will be automatically generated. We can just pick up a random color and assign it to the company. Or if you want, you can go ahead and add another text input just to define the color for the company while you are adding the new company. For now, let's generate the color randomly. So we have a label which displays the name and the button to delete the company okay so let's go to visual studio and let's design the html for the company component There are different ways of styling the component in Angular. First one is we can, there's a traditional way of styling. We can give a ID of company and then let's have a label. We then have a delete button. Let's give it button, button, danger. So these are the bootstrap classes. And let's give a background color to this div in SCSS. give a bit of about 200 pixel and height of about 200 pixel background color of um, let's say some color okay so let's say all your files So there you go. Let's wrap the div as a row so that we get the companies side by side. And also let's give a class of three which takes three column spaces. so that they appear side by side there you go let's reduce the height of the component and give a bit of padding on the left so let's give height of 100 and let's also give a padding left of 20 pixels save yeah let's also give top margin for this div so let's go to SCSS of this relevant component div of pro class Margin top 20 pixels, save all your files. Neat, this looks fine now. Coming back to company component, that's one way we can style the element 
or we can also give a class name using ng class and you can call it any name company style for example and define this class in the CSS so let's rename this as style and let's give a background different background this time let's get a gray color save all your files well it did not apply the style this time let's see why it is so this is the style that we have given and okay so the problem is that angular is considering this as a variable but this is not a variable that we have defined in the typescript file it's instead just a string static string which we need to give within the single code so now this will be considered as a string and it should work work as expected so let's save it there it is so now the style is applied so usually ng class will be used when we want to style the component dynamically based on the data so we can have a variable here called comp style and we can assign different values to this style based on the condition so on initialize we can assign this particular class name and this is referenced as a variable so let's change the color this time around save all your files that is Another ways of styling Angular components is using ng style attribute. So, um, let's style the label this time around. This is how we use the ng style attribute. Within curly braces, we need to give the style name within the quotes and then assign the value to it so let's give it a white color save all your files so you get the white color label here now if you want this value to be dynamic again you can just call this as a label color since this is a variable you can declare it within the ts file just like how we did for the company style class and give you a color here and let's say red color f00 save all your files there you go okay and finally another way of styling is directly using the attributes in line here so let's give it um, green color save it there you go 
and you can give any styles any of the native styles that we have using this inline style attribute so that's it for this one and in the next one let's see how we can loop an array of data and dynamically use the data to build the angular components so that they get displayed on the screen see you in the next one share stay tuned and subscribe cheers